Hey, what's going on guys? Mess with Reverts here, and today I want to show you guys how to eliminate the use of Blast Suppressor in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I know some of you guys might already know this, but I still see a lot of players, mainly in SD, not taking advantage of this technique. And I've taken off Blast Suppressor from all my competitive classes and even pub classes in Black Ops 3, and I replaced them with perks that I haven't really been using a lot, like Awareness or Dead Silence. Now, the trick is you want to slide before you thrust jump in the air. Now, the reason why you want to slide first is because, as you can see in the gameplay, you won't set off a ping on the minimap, but you will set off the ping on the minimap if you have a full thrust meter and you want to thrust jump but like I said if you slide first you won't set off the ping on the minimap also if your thrust meter is depleted even if it's just a little bit you still won't set off a thrust signature which is really good to know guys because basically I can thrust jump as much as I can without being noticed on the radar now when it comes to wall running again you want to slide and then mantle on the wall because if you were to just simply thrust jump you will show up on the minimap and more than likely somebody's gonna see that and kill you but uh, some people may still want to use blast suppressor because it makes the thruster silent but really I only see that to be useful in game modes like S and D, but if you're going to be playing like hard point or domination, uh, really you could benefit more from using tack mask instead of blast suppressor because of this technique. And like I said, I've taken off blast suppressor on the majority of my custom classes and replaced it with other perks. Uh, Engineer is a good example because I find engineer to have a lot more uses than blast suppressor. Like I can see enemy equipment, kill shrieks, and I can even reroll care packages. So uh, yeah, there's a lot more use that engineer has than blast suppressor. And I've been playing a few games with this technique, and to be honest, I don't find myself dying a lot more without blast suppressor. And I really don't see a difference at all to be honest and it really doesn't hurt me too much by not running blast suppressor except when it comes to the loud noise the thrusters make but uh, like I said really I haven't noticed a big difference and really I used to think blast suppressor was a big crutch perk in the game but I think my views have changed on the perk because of this technique so uh, guys that's my thoughts let me know your thoughts about the blast suppressor down in the comments and this technique also drop a like if you guys did enjoy thank you for watching I'm avert have a great rest of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling alright. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing when we're feeling alright. Everybody will be dancing tonight.